hello everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel i am Redon ibrahim in this video i will be showing you how you can edit your beam detail drawing in portal details so that you can have a perfect details yeah most time people complain of the detail you get from portal details saying it is not clear enough or it is not good enough to be used so they eventually have to create another detail drawing or they do a lot of editing before they can print out the drawing all right so um here is a video i'm making on how you can perfectly edit your detail drawing here in portal details without even needing to transfer it to autocad before you can do the details okay now the conventional thing is that um, the detailed drawing of the slab is usually not accepted in Nigeria here. I do not know if the detailed drawing of Prota details is used anywhere around the world. But here in Nigeria, we have a different way of detailing our slab. I mean, it's not entirely different, but the way we call it out, we call bar, we call it outside. We do not label the bar inside. We call it out and then that's how we do the, the detailing. So you will not have any other choice but to redetail your slab details that is being provided to you by Prota details but what about the beam and the column you can still use the beam detail and the column detail that Prota details have given you you just have to make a um, perfect edit to it okay so let's just get into it as soon as possible now um this is um the work interface of Prota details so i have opened a particular drawing which is um cadarcy that's the name of the of the project okay so now i'm um, I'll come here where you have this um, left drop down. So I'll click on this where I have my story beam elevation. And then under story one, I'll just draw a single beam. I do not really need to draw all beams. I just need one so that I can use it to make my explanation. So I'll click on this first one where I have three spans of beam, one B1, one B2, and one B3. So I'll right click and then click on draw. Then I can drop it anywhere in the workspace here. So before we start any editing, let's look at this detail critically, this detail drawing of the beam. Let's look at it critically and then we can see anything that is wrong. Okay, here we have your bob length dimensioned. Usually, you, sh you should not have your um, steel bars dimensioned. Your steel bars should not be dimensioned. Any dimension that should be here should just be the lap length, the clear distance, the distance of the column, your um, anchorage length. That's what you should be having here, not the dimension of the of the bar so this is wrong for you to get the dimension of the bar you should have a schedule drawing for your steel bar steel bar bar bending schedule or whatever you can call it you can call it bar bending schedule or steel schedule so that is where you will see the dimension of the bars they shouldn't be dimensioned here so do you need to delete this uh well you should not delete this because if you delete this there is no bar bending schedule in product details so if you delete this now, at the end of the day, you will not have access to the dimension of this tuba. So we have no choice but to leave this here. All right. So let's just go ahead and see other things. Yeah, you can see um, this is your link. You can see this, this green line that represents your link. And then that tells me that I have a link spanning up from here up to here you know before the before the beam here you know i have a beam here so um i have it like that this is also wrong we don't detail like this okay why is it wrong you should not have your dimension you should not have any dimension inside your beam you know you should have it outside the beam maybe at the top of the beam or at the bottom of the beam you shouldn't have it within the beam so this dimension that is inside the beam should be shifted down or shifted up but usually you have to shift it you have to shift it down okay so this should not be here it should be under okay so that is another wrong thing there and then another thing that is wrong here is um you can see the section of your slab okay you can see this um orange or is it yellow i think it's more of orange this orange line it represents um your slab it's represented thickness of your slab you can see this is where uh, the boundary of the beam is this is where the boundary of the beam is so here you are seeing the section of the slab you do not really need to see the section of the slab in elevation you might see it in section but you do not need to see the slab in elevation so this line needs to be removed you have to get um you have to get rid of this line this um yellowish line or orange line that represents your slab so that needs to be gone so what other thing um is wrong here let me just um check thoroughly okay another thing that is not here is um you can see it around here that the axis is dimension you can see the grid line this is grid line one and then this is grid line two then between grid line one and grid line two there is a dimension which is five thousand meter that is the dimension for the grid line 
that is not the dimension for the clear span of the beam what you might be wondering is the dimension for the clear span that are really important when you have the dimension of the grid line yeah you are not wrong but what about the dimension of the column okay you can see the column has no dimension how will i know the dimension of this column you know you should still see the dimension of your column here in um in elevation of the beam well that may not be really important so you can ignore that okay so that we can't really call that an error you can just see it is a choice okay so um which other thing uh, i do not really think there is more other thing we can check here and if there's any we see it along the way now so let's just go to the settings and see how you can edit that go to settings and then you go to beam settings okay now in beam settings um you can see your curtailment and then your detailing okay now under the detailing you can see you have general you have beam you have sections and like that so let's go to general first now under the general what is that thing you want to change here what we want to change here is just this where you have display of slab lines in beam elevation you know i talked about that that you should not have your slab section in your elevation of the beam so you can see this you can see both that is for the front side and the back side so we don't need that just click on none okay none now it says display in section should the slab section be displayed in section that is not bad it can be displayed in section but we do not need it in elevation it is totally wrong to see it in elevation so we will make this um change then we can go to beams okay now under the beams what can you select um we've made these um changes where you can change your beam label now what other thing can you change um here display reinforcement levels you might decide to you know put the levels if this beam is in you know three meter high or whatsoever just you know make sure the level is showing something like this plus 28 you know it is not really necessary it is choice okay so that is good let's move to the next one where we have the sections now under your section you have the default you usually take three sections and then you take it whenever you have different beam okay so let it be different beam and then it can be at the support and span so whatever you have as the default here uh, i think it makes sense so you do not really need to bother about it okay so um and then your numbering you know you can see this section it is one one two two three three okay so if you do not want that if you want this kind of labeling let's say a a you can see a b c small letter you can see this has changed to a b c but i prefer using the number you know figures so that is good now I'll move from here i will go to steel bars and link here is very important this is where you do much of your of your of your edit okay here you have replot bars below beams this is not necessary you do not really need to replot your bars for example let me check the box and see that now you see that after the detail has been done you are still seeing some you are still seeing the bars being relabeled under you know that is not making any sense so uncheck the box now the next one annotate your steel bar in beam of course you need to annotate it you can see why hits why 20 2 y 16 why 16 like that like that if this is unchecked you'll not be able to identify your steel bars okay so this has to be checked of course okay then annotate steel bars in beam section that is necessary and then this box where you have use high structure style annotation what does that mean when you have your um steel section you can see your steel section here you can see a a b b b what you are having here is what we call bar reference so if you just put the bar reference tell you that okay that is bar a that is bar b that is bar you understand well i do not have um passion for it the what i will just do is i will uncheck this box so that i can really dimension the the steel now you can see it is dimensioning the steel you can see you have two y16 at the top i have three y20 at the bottom that is good i prefer using that compared to the i structure where i will just have the bar reference okay now shift after layer bar to announce um display you can check that now you might be wondering how that has um, affected this drawing just make sure you look into this drawing very carefully you know look into it very clearly now you see that at this bottom here where you have y18 that y18 is just a small bar you can see it has a bob length around here okay but you cannot clearly see it because it is on the same line with the um with that long bar which is this 2y16 so to make this 2y18 very clearly you just need to just click on this shift outer layer bar to announce display now when you click on it now you can see it has come down a little bit it has come down a little bit now you can see it very clearly okay then the next one print steel bar layer information now i need to uncheck this this print steel bar layer information i need to uncheck this box because it is not making any sense if you look at this you see y18 t1 t1 is telling you that it is at the top okay 
you see this as well 2y16 t1 it is at the top of course you do not really need to tell me this is at the top i can see this bar you are labeling is at the top so why do i need to see this t1 t2 and you know all this b1 b whatever so i'll just uncheck that say uncheck this now you can only see y18 to y16 yeah you can see that all those cluster dimension has reduced now okay and then display kink in detail well the kink is not really important so i'll just um check this okay then apply crown to steel bar you know when you have one bar that wants to lap another bar you know you have a bar that is running then at the point it needs to get lapped by another bar before you can lap it you can decide to crank the bar so that the um the the lapping can be perfect okay so you can decide to crank it you can decide not to crank it so this is um your choice so if you want to do that you know you can apply crank so that you know you uncheck this or you check it so that i can apply the crank okay now display bulb has shifted make sure this is checked then draw link line extended by link size this is not important now draw link labels in line i do not like this so i'll uncheck this now what does that mean check your link here where you have two white then at space of 250 now you see that this line this line arrow line you can see it breaks at this point where you want to have your text so but when you uncheck this you see that it does not break so your label will just go above the line so i prefer using that okay now another very important thing is here where you can see print link label inside the beam i said that is very wrong you should not label inside the beam the inside of the beam should be very clear so that you can see everything perfectly but when you are dimensioning inside the beam that will bring about confusion so click on this where you have print link labels inside the beam so click on it now you can see that the label of the link has come under so it is now under you do not have anything inside and that is very good okay and then after all this you can go to the sidebar okay the sidebar simply means um the skin reinforcement it is what we call skin reinforcement the local name the bar benders give to it in nigeria is um runner you see runner have you put runner runner so that is um sidebar so any changes you have to make to your runner i mean your skin reinforcement you can you know you can make all the changes here just as you want you can see here you have three sidebars you have one here you have one here you have one here but all not all the threes are dimensioned it's just one that has been dimensioned okay so if you want all of them to be dimensioned you just uncheck here where you have display only a single sidebar so when you uncheck that you can see that all the three sidebars have come in place you can see one two three okay so and then all the three are being dimensioned like this so if you want it like this it's not bad you can even put it like this so that um, whosoever is reading the drawing can easily understand but when you do not put it like this when you just uncheck this box and then it sees one here and then just this two other line you might not know what it means so it's better for you to and uncheck this okay then match similar spam web let this be here then your dimensioning you can do a lot of um the dimensioning let's say your span where i was talking about the column um you can just come here where is it here so dimension support column and clear span so when you click that you can see that the column the section of the column will be dimension and then the clear span will also be dimension and any dimension you do not want to see like your lap length or whatever you can uncheck them here but i think everything here is perfect for the dimension the real problem here is about where where you have your steel bars and everything here so when you're done just click on ok now after clicking ok you will realize that nothing has really changed here nothing has really changed of course it will not change the changes we've made will only be affecting the next um details we'll be creating so i will just come here again and then I will click the drawing right click click on draw and then i'm going to drop it here now if you check here you see it is very perfect you can see the dimension of your beam you can see 115115 that is um a 230 beam all right the 150 150 that's 230 beam now you can see that here we do not have your slab sections showing here the only boundary line you have here represents your beam this green line that's the beam boundary and this other one that represents the beam boundary unlike here okay you can see as yes, this is on yellowish line this one which represents your slab and everything like that so that's not making sense we've deleted that now and then you can see your your link it is not dimensioning inside it is now dimensioned outside you can see this is just 2y16 you don't see 2y16 bottom one like b1 and stuff like that here the elevation we put the elevation there and then which other thing did we change um here where you have your eye structure bar referencing annotation style you can see that has been changed you have your 2i16 and everything your steel bar is also dimension and then you can see where i was talking about displaying your slab section in section 
the section of the slab can be shown in the section of the beam something like this okay that's not bad so if you put it or you do not put it it does not really matter but if it is here it is fine but it should not be in elevation drawing it should not be here in elevation drawing but we can have it here in section but if you do not want it in section as well you know what to do so where we change that you just click on that checkbox and then you eliminate that so these are the real things you need to do obviously when you see this kind of drawing it is perfect for you to print you just send it to AutoCAD and then what do you need to do next just change the text style you know because the text will usually be small you just increase them and then maybe you increase the radius of this um bob I mean of this bob of the um grid line and then you do all such things that you need to do then what do you need to do next you print it out for the for the contractor so this is very easy I believe if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly give it a subscription and watch out for more videos I believe this channel will be very beneficial for you as a structural engineer thanks for watching